Hey guys, it's Miss Vicki and we're going to do meringue kisses. Really simple, delicious dessert or snack or maybe even something for a bake sale. We're making it for our royal wedding watching party. So I'm going to go ahead and make them because I do it overnight. Great ahead of time thing. We need egg whites for this. So some people like to use a separator. Some people use the eggshells going for This is the way I do it. I find that the best way to get all the egg whites is I put it right in my hand, let it drain right through my hands, throw away the yolk. Some people want to save it to use it. I don't use, I don't use a lot of yolk in my cooking or even when we scramble eggs in the morning. We, a lot of times use just egg whites. Okay. Now we're going to wash our hands and cut. Okay, we washed our hands super good. We scrubbed tops and bottoms. I'm going to reiterate here, it's very important that you don't contaminate your food by leaving um, the residue on your hands and then go into something else because we do not want salmonella here, okay? We're going to start beating it and we're going to beat it till it's light and fluffy and um, so the peaks stand on their own. Some people like to use a cream of tartar in here and you can put a teaspoon of it if you believe it helps hold up the peaks of a white, a meringue white. It's going to take a little while, so let me get started. Beat up our eggs here. It's not hard, just take some patience to get them nice and firm. But you see how it, look at that. They really are firm. All right, now we're going to gradually add in the sugar. And we're going to use our beaters to slowly get that in. All right, I mixed in the half a cup of sugar. And it kind of deflates the egg white, so we had to beat it up on high again so we get them stiff again, as you can see. We're going to take our pure vanilla, and we're going to do half a teaspoon of that. And that's after we've gotten them all nice and firm again. And we're going to beat it up again. All right, so we mixed in the vanilla. Now, I use a, a pure vanilla, so it's got a brown color to it. It slightly tinged the color of the meringue. Now, if you want to keep these white, which most of the time we do, um, you want to use a clear vanilla. But we are going to have a little fun with this, and we're going to have pink. And you can color this any color you'd like. It's really great. This is a great item for baby showers, for luncheons, for um, even just take it to the school. The kids love this too. Great thing about it, it's egg white. So if you're worried about your cholesterol, this might be a snack you can have a little bit of. And um, certainly, if you're watching your weight, um, one or two of these would not hurt, um, being that it is egg whites. All right, that is some good meringue whipping right there. Look at that, it sticks. That's what we want. So we've done all the blending and electric beater mixing that we had to do with the color and the vanilla and the sugar. Now we're gonna fold in the chocolate chips. Now you can use a half a cup, use more if you'd like. This household loves their chocolate. I use semi-sweet morsels. You can use any brand you like. I happen to use Toll House. So we're just going to fold it as little as possible, just enough to get it through. And then we're going to drop these on a stone. I'm using a stone. You can use a pan. I put parchment down and take a regular little teaspoon out of your silverware drawer. Take it and we're just going to, again, my hands are clean. And drop down about that size. Just like that. So we fill up the pan. Okay, we've finished placing these on our pan. You'll probably need a much bigger one, several, if you um, use the uh, entire recipe. And this is a great recipe to double. Make plenty of them, stick them in an airtight container. They'll be eaten. It's a great dessert, great snack, and something you should take and share with people. It's really easy. Um, if you um, want to get this done really fast, you're going to take this and put this pan in a 250 degree oven for 50 minutes. Depending on humidity, I'm going to tell you honestly, I've been making these since I was 13. Humidity has a lot to do with it as to how fast these will dry up and they become light and crunchy. Um, they're going to have a little tinge of brown, but not much. You won't really see it if you color it um, and if you do it really, really slow. The way I do it is I put a 250 oven on, I turn it off, put this in there, and leave it overnight so it can just gradually dry up and become nice and crisp with those yummy chocolates inside. It's that easy and it's wonderful. Look how beautiful they look. And you can do any color. So this is just a really fun, easy recipe that I guarantee you everybody's gonna love. Have fun with this and enjoy. And here are our meringue kisses, all done. They were sitting overnight. And as you can see, some have turned a little bit tinted from the oven. 
like I talked about earlier, but they're beautiful and they add so much to our table when we're serving brunch or have a baby shower, a wedding shower, a birthday party, a tea party. These are great. Hope you love them.